Hey everyone, Joe here with Speedway Motors Tech Talk, and today Greg is here to install a fire system in a sprint car. But first, we're gonna talk about the main differences between the two systems that we sell. We've been getting a lot of calls with people asking, what is the difference? So we've got the fire bottle and we've got the lifeline. That's the two that are mainly going into sprint cars. Both are excellent and a clean agent. The fire bottle is four inches, Lifeline is three and three eighths. The Lifeline is 16 and a half tall. Fire bottle is 17 and a half tall. The only other difference there is we got some difference in weight. We'll do the fire bottle and we'll do it the same. We get a weight of 8.4. If you're building your chassis, you can leave it set it up so you can bolt these brackets on instead of running them on clamp. And then the lifeline, we're coming in at 7.85 pounds. So now we're gonna take this and install it in a sprint car. Tyler Drukey was kind enough to loan us his sprint car to install one of these systems. And the first thing we gotta figure out is where we're gonna put the bottle. Well, we've looked at the car and we figured out that we have two options. We can either put it on the right side, on the diagonal under the seat, or we can put it on the left side on the diagonal. Everybody knows you wanna keep your weight on the left-hand side, so that's where we're gonna put it on this car. Well, we chose to mount our bracket down low, but when we tried to slip the bottle in, we ran into the pedal. So now we're gonna move our bracket up a little bit and hopefully cure that problem. Okay, we're adjusting how we're going to mount our bottle. We're having the gauge point up, so it's the easy way for the tech guys to look at it. We also put the screws from the bottom, so if you ever have to take it out in a hurry, you don't have to remove the seat. Now it's time to run our cable. We've made a bracket. We've decided we're going to run the cable down through, and we're going to mount right here. So we'll just clamp that in place. Then we'll just zip tie our cable along the side here, route around and install it in our bottle. We're gonna leave this green safety tab in until we get the car totally completed so the system doesn't get accidentally discharged. All right, system is installed, it's really straightforward. Hardest part was finding a place to put the cable and the manual release. But now this car is already and in compliance for the 2023 season. If you have any questions about this at all, feel free to give us a call and thanks for watching.